Today we're talking about Powdersville, South Carolina, what might be one of the most overlooked suburbs in the Greenville area, uh, and I'll show you why it might be uh, sort of like a hidden gem. I don't know, you be the judge. But if you're thinking about moving to Greenville, then you definitely wanna know about Powdersville, South Carolina. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all the key information I would wanna know about living in Powdersville before making a decision to move. If you don't know who I am, my name is Matt Abayati. I'm a real estate agent in the Greenville area where I live and work. I share information about the real estate, the communities, and some of the lifestyle of living in Greenville. Uh, and I make these videos because where we decide to live is a big deal. And I wanna make that decision as easy as possible for you. Uh, if you find these videos valuable and you decide you'd like my help buying or selling a home, uh, just check out the contact information in the description below, reach out, uh, and I'll be happy to work with you to make your next move. Now. Back to Powdersville, South Carolina. Let's see what we can learn about this pretty cool suburb of Greenville. So let's jump into the map so I can tell you a little bit about Powdersville itself as an area. Uh, it's not actually an incorporated city. So you'll see Powdersville surrounded by this red outline. Uh, it's been around for quite a while uh, as a named location, but it isn't its own city. Uh, it, it sort of is like the meeting point of a lot of cities and actually three entire counties uh, right here on the southwestern part of Greenville. Uh, so nearby, if we zoom out a little, you'll see uh, just up here to the northeast is Greenville. Just up here to the northwest, you'll find Easley, which is another cool town. And if you head south a little bit, uh, we'll find right down there, Anderson, which is another um, kind of unique city with a cool historic downtown area. So uh, Powdersville is located sort of right in between these three areas. And what I'm gonna do so you can see what I mean when I talk about the three counties is I'm gonna pop up some of these counties here. And so right here, surrounded by the red, we have Pickens County, uh, which again, right close to Powdersville has Easley, which is a unique city. Down here you have Clemson, major university town. You have all these cool sort of upstate lakes, great state park, all right? So it's all right here nearby in Pickens County and you'll see Powdersville here right at that corner um, on the east side of Pickens County. And then we'll pop in Anderson County. And there you go, this is actually the county that Powdersville is in itself. Uh, and so right up here in the corner, again, you see, so Easley was over here in Pickens County, right in the corner you have Powdersville. Anderson County, of course, uh, centered around Anderson, this city, which has a cool, unique downtown, lots of uh, kind of local restaurants and that sort of stuff. And again, a major upstate lake, this is Lake Hartwell, um, that kind of runs into Anderson County all over here. So. Uh, another kind of cool place to visit sometimes. And then, of course, the reason we're interested in Powdersville in the first place is its proximity to Greenville County. And all right, so here's Greenville County. You can see pretty large county, but thanks to its shape, even though Powdersville is not in Greenville County, it is very close to Greenville City, right? It's just here on the shortest side of Greenville County. Uh, and so there it is, again, you can see Right here was Greenville, this side was Pickens County, and then right down here, of course, we're all in Anderson County. So it's right at the center of those three, which makes it kind of a unique location for the area. Wherever you live in Powdersville, you can get to Greenville quickly, uh, either taking, you know, kind of a highway here, Highway 81, you can jump on this major interstate. 85 is a major uh, interstate through these Southeast, East Coast states um, that gets you around. You can see, I mean, there's a there's an easy network of roads all taking you into uh, Greenville, no matter where you're located in Powdersville. So super convenient there. Uh, additionally, uh, you can again head over to Easley or head down to Anderson uh, as you like to just uh, explore some different areas and see some cool stuff. So uh, very convenient location from Powdersville. Powdersville has grown quite a bit over the last one or two decades. So even though it's not an incorporated city, it's been drawing a lot of people and that's due to uh, its convenient location. Uh, it has actually very good schools for the area. Uh, and also, even though it's, it's a small area, uh, it has kind of all the essentials you need uh, within just a couple minutes. So you don't have to travel far to live all your day-to-day -day life. So if you're living in Powdersville, uh, what about the schools? Again, one of the main draws to this area is is the fact that it has very highly rated schools. So if we can get this cleaned up just a little bit, uh, we'll pull out our marker. So down here, 
right there we'll see concrete primary school. And this highway you see running down the middle, this is highway 153, it's sort of like the main road that runs through Powdersville. Everything spreads outwards from there, right? So down here south of the highway, you have concrete primary school. Uh, and then up here north of the highway, just a mile or two away maybe, you have uh, the cluster of the elementary school, middle school, and high school. So one of the unique things about the schools in Powdersville that people enjoy a lot, that parents enjoy a lot, is that uh, the elementary age schools are split into two schools. So the primary school is K through two, uh, and then the elementary school here is third through fifth grade, right? So. Um, instead of having kindergartners through fifth graders all in the same school, which is kind of a widespread of development, that's split into two schools and it allows the younger children to get some more focused learning environment just with all the other younger children and the slightly older children to do the same at the elementary school and parents seem to enjoy that a lot. Uh, so that's one unique thing about the schools. And then um, additionally, the high school uh, is the number one rated high school in Anderson County. Uh, so it's a great high school for the area. It's also the number 36 rated high school in the state, so it performs well there, and it's in the top 20% of high schools in the country. So uh, a very good high school uh, in the area here, and those ratings are based on performance on state testing, college readiness, and also graduation rate. So they're not arbitrary rankings. Uh, they are actually compared to all the other schools and Powdersville School, uh, Powdersville High School does quite well. Okay, so commercial in Powdersville. If you're moving to Powdersville, unless you're working in some sort of essential service or um, retail environment, something of that nature, you're probably moving to Powdersville and maybe commuting somewhere else for work. It's not a major hub of industry, uh, but it does have all the essentials that you want uh, located right here in this small Powdersville community. So it's super convenient and super easy to live. Let's zoom in and we'll take a look at what you'll see here. So like I mentioned before, Everything sort of spreads out from this main highway. So the commercial um, businesses are all going to be kind of around here too. So if we zoom in a touch, we'll just kind of run up the highway a bit and show you what you'll find. And what you're gonna see is the normal uh, sort of like franchise chain commercial things you would find in most communities. So we have our fast food that begins right here next to our major highway, Arby's, um, you know, some Mexican, we have motorsports, we have a couple healthcare places and doctors. Um, we have, again, more fast food here if we zoom in. Pizza, pasta, ribs, chicken, all, you know, everything you would expect, all of the things you see in most towns. You have your pharmacies, your gas stations, a Walmart super center, a grocery store. Down here you'll find a, another grocery store. And Ingalls, you have a hardware store. Here's some independent restaurants, kind of local places in Powdersville. Uh, Rubens is a sports bar type place. Arnold's Hamburgers, Nick Henry's, sort of like a diner, American style restaurant. Uh, so. You know, there's also some local places, so it's not only sort of commercial franchise stuff, which is nice to have a few things. Big Clock, that's like a large diner in the area. Um, Los Amigos, a Mexican restaurant. So it's just all of the kind of essential things you find in most places, more gas stations, convenience stores, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you don't have to travel to Greenville um, just to get your groceries, right? To, to do all the normal things that you're gonna be doing regularly um, that are not special or unique. So that's all available, <clears throat> that's all available right here in Powdersville within just a couple minutes. So super convenient place to live on a day-to-day -day basis. But what about recreation? So the same as the commercial, you're only really gonna find your essentials in Powdersville. Now it has a great recreation department, youth recreational sports, Powdersville Rec, um, which you might expect because it has these desirable schools as well. It has a small park, Dolly Cooper Park, up here. And uh, Dolly Cooper Park has recreational uh, fields for kind of like youth sports, it has a baseball field, and then like a larger field for football or soccer. Um, but I wouldn't consider it like a major park. There's not a playground, there's not an extensive array of walking trails. It does run along the Saluda River, which is kind of cool. Most of it is hidden behind trees, but um, there's like a small access, a kayak launch you can see here, which is pretty neat. And also Dolly Cooper has a quite highly rated disc golf course. So if you're into that, it could be something cool to have nearby. Now, other than that, you'll have just like your basic opportunities for recreation and exercise like the Powdersville YMCA. So if we head down here, 
All right, so there's the YMCA. There are also a couple of other gyms in the area uh, if that one's not a good fit for you. So the essentials uh, are, are all you're gonna find recreationally in Powdersville. Um, there's not um, like a historic downtown area in Powdersville. Again, it's not a city. It hasn't, he doesn't have a history as a city. So there was no uh, sort of historic area here. But again, that's not necessarily why you would live in Powdersville. Why you would live in Powdersville is because it's conveniently located to all the other unique uh, recreational areas nearby. So if we zoom out, we'll pull up our marker and we'll see within a maximum of 20 minutes, really probably within 15 minutes, there are a ton of things you can do from the Powdersville area. So if you head up towards Greenville, you have access to all of the cool recreation that Greenville has to offer. That's the downtown area right here. You have the zoo in Cleveland Park, which has uh, some nature trails. It has tennis courts, all that good stuff. Falls Park on the Reedy, which is a beautiful downtown park on the Reedy River. Unity Park, which is almost a brand new park, great for kids. It has a large field for playing. Uh, Swamp Rabbit Trail that runs through here, uh, runs right by this park as well and takes you kind of all the way up to Traveler's Rest. It's for riding bikes and running and all that good stuff. Uh, over here, if you start making your way even down a little more to the east, uh, here's Greenville Country Club Golf Course. This is a really incredible park, Conesti Nature Preserve, extensive walking and uh, hiking trails, a little lake right in there, um, playgrounds, lots to do at Conesti. We also love Runway Park. That's a very cool playground located right uh, next to an airport. So while you're playing, there's a cafe. You can eat, have snacks, your kids can play, and you can watch the small planes uh, take off and land on the runway. Very cool. Just over here, you have Lakeside Park, which has seventh inning splash water park. So that's, I mean, literally minutes from Powdersville. Uh, and then Powdersville also gives you access over towards uh, Pickens or Anderson County to check out some other cool places. So if you're into golf, you have another golf course, Southern Oaks, very nearby here, Smithfield's Country Club over here, or you can head into downtown Easley, which is another sort of historic downtown district. Uh, there's some cool businesses, places to eat. You'll see the silos. The silos in downtown Easley, a cool sort of outdoor food court. There's some hangouts here, Hey Good Park, some memorial lawns. So you have easy access down there. And again, if you wanted to go even further, right, to about 25 minutes uh, out of Powdersville, you could head down towards Anderson, experience, uh, you know, the parks, the downtown area, uh, all around Anderson University here. Right, another cool place to visit and hang out if you're looking for things to do. And of course, like everywhere in Greenville, uh, Powdersville gives you convenient access as a suburb to slightly farther areas if you wanna head to other major cities for things to do on the weekends and things like that. Charlotte, Atlanta, Asheville, Tennessee, uh, Columbia, even the coast, whatever floats your boat. So there you have it. That's Powdersville, South Carolina explained. Uh, one of the kind of unique overlooked suburbs because it's not actually in Greenville County of Greenville, but a very nice place to live, uh, which is convenient and has some great features. So. Uh, if you're interested in moving to the Greenville area or Powdersville in particular, and you want to know more, check out some of our other videos, or you can contact me using the info in the description below. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.